What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to tutorial 13 and today's topic will be how to assign Jira issue to one of the available users using uh, REST API or from REST API using Python. So in the last tutorial we have seen how to delete uh, Jira like multiple Jira issues by reading one CSV file and in this tutorial we'll be going to uh, do one more advanced topic which is uh, suppose you have some issues and you have already created or you have already available uh, you have users available in your Jira platform now you want to assign some of the issues to some of the available user uh, dynamically or maybe programmatically from the rest api using python so how to do that so in this tutorial we'll be going to achieve that so again this is also going to be very interesting thing for example you are uh, you, you you get uh, you got one list from your scrum master okay so this is a, a list of thousand issues and this is the uh, available consultant or in engineer please assign them accordingly so you get a list of csv file either uh, there are there are two possibilities like either you can do it using uh, manually one by one by reading the csv file or either you can create some program which will do it by uh, like uh, executing some sort of python code by calling the rest api within couple of seconds so definitely you are going to uh, choose the second one because this is definitely save some time it will not be error prone and also it will uh, be more effective so that is why this sort of things are very important so without wasting much time let me just open the documentation so this is a documentation actually i have already added the documentation here how to do that so this is very simple actually so you can see this is the url for uh, or maybe this is a api endpoint url for assigning the issue and this is some uh, user id password normal thing and actually in the json body payload you have to pass the account id account id means suppose you are going to assign a uh, user a so every user have an account id so how to get that account id we'll get it from here let me check for example this is my this is my Jira okay so suppose I want to assign this uh, issue this is the this issue ID is TTS 37 I want to assign something here okay so right now this is nothing okay so if I go here how to get the account ID and after that sorry I did a mistake so if you go here or maybe you can go here and after that you can create on uh, click on people okay uh, maybe you can click on here and after that let me just search maybe I have some someone yeah I have a KL Rahul okay so this is the account ID actually okay so what I'll do let me just open the last code so just copy this thing cause we're not going to write the whole code again okay so let me just check so this part this part is not required actually this required this is required I don't need this part as well okay this part is not required as well okay actually this part is also not required okay this part is not required so what I'll do uh, let me uh, let me open some other URL yeah this is the URL actually okay let me just copy this one this is uh, looking more realistic okay so let me where copy this thing let me delete oh, sorry remove this thing okay now suppose i don't want this part okay then probably i can keep it here i can keep it here i can keep it here okay so now the thing is that uh, i need to change the url so let me just open the api documentation so the url is something like this so let me copy this thing from rest actually okay so let me like this okay so let me put my issue id so it is tts 37 tts 37 let me check actually one more time and here let me remove everything okay only thing is that uh, i'll be going to use that account id will be something okay so i'll be going to put that okay like this so let me change my account id for kl rahul so kl loan account id will be this one okay okay like this okay now it, it will be put actually put uh, let me show you why it is put because we are going to update something okay so if you open here in the documentation you will see it is put actually so everything is done okay so
so TTS 37 this is done if I run this thing it will be able to like assign the issue to this user I user means the KL loud so let me open this thing again so project let me open here so this is my issue TTS 37 so there is nothing is here at, at this moment so let's execute this thing now so I believe everything is fine I haven't done any mistake so let me run this thing yes 13 yeah this 13 let's see yeah so it didn't, didn't print anything actually okay I don't know it was supposed to it should print something I don't know uh, request dot put this the URL total technology rest API issue 37 is there payload data is payload yes uh, json dot dumps account id is this okay let me check actually i don't know yes kl lahul has been assigned so let me do something else for this one tts 38 okay uh, let me change this one okay it's done okay uh, let me check actually yes scale level is done okay fine so this is very simple guys so now what is happening we are actually manually uh, like changing this thing like or you can you can use this code this is again some sort of automation but it is actually uh, able to perform it for only one user and one issue per time but suppose your requirement is to assign thousand issues to thousand different user then this code is not going to help so for that thing you need a csp file and you have to do some sort of looping so that advanced topic or intermediate topic will be done by us in the next tutorial so just stay tuned uh, with us try to follow our all the videos try to watch out this whole series from the beginning then only it will actually going to help you don't skip any videos or else you will not be able to understand what is happening okay so that's it guys uh, before i end this tutorial guys please provide some sort of feedback uh, means like uh, uh, whether it is uh, good or bad doesn't matter but it has to be uh, like honest feedback because i do not uh, understand actually whether you guys are making some benefit from this tutorial or not because i'm getting some responses i'm happy with that that you guys are getting but i need some more responses like uh, some negative responses actually honestly because till now whatever i'm getting positive so negative means su suppose something is missing guys please speak out and let me know so that i can create this series more interesting more interactive okay so that's it guys enough of talking uh, we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day